I'm going to call this segment Media and Discipleship. Um, I had a question that I wanted to answer. Father John Hollowell, who is a priest of the Archdiocese of Indianapolis, asked this question on one of his platforms. Uh, he asked, what are some free resources for new Catholics who have just come into the church at Easter for growing in their faith? So this segment's going to be about free resources for new Catholics to grow in their faith. And this actually is good for any Catholic that wants to grow in their faith. And I'm going to give you um, the top 15 free resources that I use to grow in my faith and that I think are just really good. So number one, we'll start with, I even have a visual aid for this one, Church Pop, churchpop.com. Really interesting stories. This is kind of geared towards a younger audience. The, the articles and the content that they provide is really, I think, probably the best content out there. I love it. It's fresh. It's, they cover stories that nobody else is covering, and I think they are probably the top, top of all content. So I just want to give a plug for them. So churchpop.com. Okay, the second resource is Ascension Presents. It is a YouTube channel, Ascension Presents. It is put together by the Augustine Institute. They are based out of Colorado. And one of their top uh, YouTube personalities is Father Mike Schmitz. He's one of my favorite, but he is on the channel. Uh, number three, the Augustine Institute also puts together a, or has uh, provided a service, this is paid, Formed.org. It is a Catholic Netflix per se. Formed.org. That does require a subscription. However, many Catholic parishes purchase a subscription for all of their parishioners. So um, that's a great way to get really good video content. Formed.org. So check your parish. Your parish, uh, our parish has it. Maybe your parish does, so check that out, formed.org. Okay, number four. There's an organization called FOCUS. It stands for Fellowship of Catholic University Students. FOCUS has an annual conference called SEEK, S-E-E-K. SEEK 2019 happened in Indianapolis this past January, January 2019. If you go to SEEK 2019.com here is the this is the program it's like it was a four-day conference the top speakers in the United States the Catholic um, top Catholic speakers were at this conference and a good portion of the talks were video recorded and are available at seek 2019.com Okay, number five, Emily Wilson. Emily Wilson, also a YouTube personality. She can be found at emilywilson.com. She's a beautiful young woman from California. Her channel just uh, surpassed 100,000 subscribers. I think she is the top female um, YouTube personality based on subscribers, but she's got great content. And she has a new book that just came out called Go Bravely. Okay, number six. Number six is Presentation Ministries. And this is one of my favorites. Of course, all these are my favorites. But this is one of my, I would say, all-time favorites. Presentation Ministries uh, was founded by Father Al Lauer in the late 80s or mid to late 80s. He is now deceased. He died in, I think, 2002 of cancer. But his ministry goes on. Um, uh, the One Bread, One Body booklet is available in a booklet form, or it's also available online. And it uh, is a reflection booklet on the daily mass readings. Father Al also has a lot of other, uh, a lot of other resources. There are 
um, Daily Bread Radio, which is available on many stations. Those are also podcasted. Lots of free publications. So um, obviously, Presentation Ministry relies on donations, but Father Al wanted to make sure all their materials were free to Catholics that were interested in growing in their faith. So PresentationMinistries.com. Uh, number seven, Bishop Robert Barron. He is another great resource. He has a booklet um, called Word on Fire. And actually, I get the email pushes, Word on Fire, so you can just sign up, go to Bishop Barron, Bishop Robert Barron, Google him. You can get connected to Word on Fire. Bishop Barron also has a lot of, um, he's, uh, found on YouTube a lot so you can Google him or check out go to YouTube and and search Bishop Robert Barron Bishop Robert Barron is really interesting he offers a lot of reflection on in a contemporary way but he can also be very scholarly so uh, sometimes he gets a little too scholarly for me but I love the scholarly aspect as well as um, offering um, contemporary, concise reflections on the word on fire. So I love that resource. Okay, number eight, Catholic Radio Indy. Catholic Radio Indy is the local Catholic radio. It's an EWTN affiliate here in Indianapolis. I happen to work for the station. I host one of the locally produced shows called Faith in Action. There are four um, shows that are podcasted, Faith in Action, the Catholic Cave, which is about philosophy. The Catholic Jukebox, which is a music, Catholic music um, show. Catholic Sports Weekly, about sports. So no matter what your interest is, you can get one of those locally podcasted shows. Um, in addition, Catholic Radio Indy broadcast 24-7. They stream on the internet. Um, their call letters are 89.1 FM and 90.9 FM in the Indianapolis media market, or you can get all their content live stream and their podcast at www.catholicradioindy.org. So that's another resource. Uh, number nine, okay, I'm going to give a shameless plug for my um, blog and my YouTube channel. My blog is called All About the Grace. You can find it at allaboutthegrace.com. The purpose of my blog is to do exactly this, to help Catholics grow in their faith. So I have uh, articles that will help you do that. Um, I have podcasts and I also have videos. So no matter what kind of way you like to learn about your faith, I have all three there at that site. So number 10 is EWTN. It stands for Eternal Word Television Network. They are actually based out of Birmingham, Alabama. They were founded by Mother Angelica about 25 years ago. They own and operate several things. They have their um, television channel, uh, radio affiliates across the country. They have um, National Catholic Register, which is their newspaper. And if you just Google EWTN, you can get all sorts of live streams, radio, television. They have um, content in Spanish as well, if you're a Spanish um, speaker. But uh, it, it's just a huge resource, so EWTN. You can also get EWTN on cable television and or I know Hulu carries EWTN as one of their um, services. So you can get EWTN free just on the internet or you can get EWTN through a cable service. Some cable carriers provide it or through, I know, Hulu, we have Hulu, and we have EWTN through Hulu. So, so if you have it through a service, I believe you get the actual daily live television broadcast. The stuff that's streamed on the internet, I believe is, at least with the television, is 
after it's aired. I'm not 100% sure on that, but you can get EWTN content for free on the internet. So they do stream there. Okay, number 11, Parish Bulletin. The Parish is a great free resource for growing in your faith. And the Bulletin is a great resource. The Parish website is a great resource. Your Parish priest, um, many of the priests will offer homilies in the Parish Bulletin or on the Parish website, or Parish priests might have a separate blog or they blog on the Parish website and even other priests have YouTube channel. So your parish is a great place to be fed spiritually. Okay, number 12, diocesan newspapers. I used to work for a diocesan newspaper. If you want to stay connected to what's happening in the local church, you want to do it by your parish and your diocesan newspaper. Uh, you can connect, you can get the actual snail mail paper version of the newspaper, or most diocesan newspapers have now a online um, version of their newspaper. Okay, 13, Pope Francis. I follow Pope Francis on Twitter. I like getting the inspirational quotes that he puts out or just the short reflections that he puts out or sometimes there'll be a link to a video or a link to his homily also on the Twitter um, also on Pope Francis Twitter account so I like to follow Pope Francis number 14 the USCCB that is the United States Catholic Conference of Bishops you can follow them on Twitter or you can go to usccb.org. The USCCB is the governing body of the Catholic Church in the United States. And if you have any question about the faith, about current topics, um, you can find it there. All right, and number 15, since Father John Hollowell was the one who asked this question of what are some free resources new Catholics can get, to grow in their faith. Uh, his channel, he has a YouTube channel, uh, so you can fo find Father John Hollowell on YouTube. Go to YouTube, search Father John Hollowell, or follow Father John Hollowell on Twitter as well. And he's on a lot of other platforms, but those are the two places that I have. Um, I follow him on Twitter and I'm subscribed to his channel. He actually has 17,000 followers on his YouTube channel. So it's really great. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any um, other questions, either about how to grow in your faith or about one of the um, resources I mentioned here, please uh, leave a comment, ask a question. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel, like it. Um, I don't have that many subscribers. It's pretty embarrassing, but I'm not doing this to get subscribers. I'm really just doing this because I felt like it's what God called me to do, and I want to share all the great stuff that's going on in the Catholic Church and how to help you grow in your faith. So thank you so much, and God bless. Bye-bye.